In this video we are going to talk about top 10 weird facts you will not believe are true. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Number 10. A chicken lived without a head for 18 months. Unlike other animals, chicken brains are concentrated at the back of the skull, and there isn't enough of it to compensate for this concentration. Consequently, a decapitated chicken can survive for an extended period of time exclusively on the nerve endings found in its brain and intestines. Mike the Headless Chicken is the most well-known of these characters, and for good reason. In 1945, a farmer named Lloyd Olson was attacked by a chicken and had his head chopped off, nonetheless, the chicken refused to succumb to his injuries. Consequently, his family opted to keep him around and feed him by physically squeezing food and water down his throat. After 18 months and a considerable lot of media attention, it finally gave way and collapsed into the ground. Number 9. The Guinness Book of World Records was created to settle bar arguments. As told in the official origin story of the Guinness Book of World Records, which is published annually and documents every feat of human achievement, a dispute over which game bird in Europe is faster, the golden plover or the red grouse, was finally resolved when the book was first published in 1911. By the way, the bird is a plover. A participant in the debate, Sir Hugh Beaver, the managing director of the Guinness Brewery, pointed out that the solution was difficult to come by in reference books, and he was one of those who brought this to the attention of the audience. In order to settle these kinds of minor disagreements, he founded the Guinness Book of World Records, which was first published in 1955 and continues to this day. Number 8. Aphids give birth to other pregnant aphids. Aphids are a common garden insect that may be found in almost every garden, and they are especially prevalent in flower gardens. According to Reddit user Little Beluga Whale, they are considerably odd than they appear to be. The vast majority of them are born pregnant and so do not require the assistance of a man to survive. As reported by the National Library of Medicine in the United States, the vast majority of aphids are born pregnant and give birth to solely females, with no wastrel males in the population. Development takes place in the mother's ovary in an assembly line like fashion as embryos proceed through the stages of development. These growing embryos, which are shaped like Russian dolls, contain developing embryos of the third generation that are still in the process of becoming fully formed embryos. Aphids have a sexual encounter once a year, according to the literature. The weather leads the animal to take on a different form, one in which it produces eggs rather than embryos, rather than the other way around. Males, like females, are produced asexually, as are certain other species. Number 7. Harvard was founded before calculus was created. Calculus, in its modern form, was invented separately by Gottfried Leibniz and Isaac Newton in the late 17th century, despite the fact that certain areas of mathematics have been referred to as calculus since the time of the ancient Egyptians. Harvard University, originally known as Harvard College, was founded in 1636 for the purpose of ordaining pastors. Today, it is known as Harvard University. Harvard University was founded as a result, and according to Jeff the Nurse on Reddit, it is older than the creation of calculus. The fact that Harvard University is the oldest continuously operating university in the United States does not mean that it is also the oldest university on the earth. It is not even close. The institution of al qurao Oyain in Fez, Morocco, was established in 859 and is the world's oldest continuously operating university. Number 6. The Birthday Paradox When there are 23 people in a room, there is a better than 50% probability that two people will share the same birthday. In this case, the occurrence is referred to as the birthday paradox. Please visit the section below for more information. If two people are in a room at the same time, there is a 364-365 chance that they do not have the same birthday, assuming that we ignore leap years and assume that all birthdays are equally likely. This is because there are 364 days that are different from the first person's birthday that can then be the second person's birthday, if we ignore leap years and assume that all birthdays are equally likely. If there are three people in the room, it is 364 365 times 363 365 that there will be three persons in the room who all have different birthdays if three people are in the room. In addition, as previously stated, once we have learned about the birthday of the first person, we have 364 different birthday options from which to choose for the second person, and this leaves 363 different birthday options for the third person to choose from, all of which are distinct from the first and second. 
After reaching the threshold of 23 persons, the odds that all 23 have separate birthdays drops below 50%, and the likelihood that at least two of them have the same birthday climbs to larger than 50%. It's an even number, says the author. Number 5. Honey never expires. Since honey has a perfect chemical composition, it will never degrade or become contaminated with other substances. In this environment, organisms are unable to survive, which implies that there is nothing that can cause deterioration in the first instance. A 5,000-year-old batch of honey has been unearthed, and it is, in theory, totally edible, according to researchers. Number 4. A day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus. One day is the time it takes for a planet to rotate on its axis, and one year is the time it takes for a planet to complete one complete rotation around the Sun. This should assist you in figuring things out. On Venus, it takes approximately 243 Earth days for one complete spin, which happens to be in the opposite direction of our planet's rotation, and 225 Earth days to complete one full orbit around the Sun. An hour has become much longer than a year as a result of this. Number 3. There's a company that turns dead bodies into an ocean reef. Individuals who have idealized the thought of being buried at sea now have a fresh option to consider, thanks to the work of the firm Eternal Reefs. In this method, the cremated remains of a person are combined with concrete to produce a pearl onto which family members can engrave personal inscriptions, handprints, or other, environmentally acceptable, memories. After that, the pearl is immersed in water, where it serves as a new habitat for fish and other marine life so contributing to the creation of a healthy environment for all. The pearl is extracted and sold as jewelry after it has been harvested. It's the circle of life when it comes to employment. Number 2. There is an annual coffee break festival. A coffee break is a necessary but often undervalued part of millions of people's daily routines. A coffee break festival is held every year in the Wisconsin town of Stoughton to urge people to take a break and appreciate what they have for what they are doing. As part of the event, there will be coffee tastings, brew-offs, and bean-spitting events to take part in. What is it about Stoughton that distinguishes it from other towns? Coffee breaks were created in the city in the late 1800s, when women working at the adjacent Gunderson Tobacco Warehouse began the habit of taking a break during the workday to prepare a pot of coffee and chat with co-workers over a cup of tea, according to city officials. Number 1. You can buy a flying bicycle. British innovators John Foden and Yannick Reed have built an aerodynamic bicycle that can actually fly, despite the fact that it seems like something out of a science fiction novel. The Explorer Paravelo is composed of two parts, a folding bicycle and a lightweight trailer that is equipped with a fan motor that operates on biodiesel fuel. The bicycle is foldable, and the trailer is lightweight. Motorized fans can move up to 25 miles per hour in the air and reach elevations of 4,000 feet if they are given ample runway time. As a result of their inability to reach their financial goal in time to mass-produce enough explorers to be widely available on the market, the inventors are now offering their innovative skills through bespoke production, a service that allows them to customize products to meet specific customer needs. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.